Hello everybody, welcome to CCL number 47, the round of 64 match, which is the first round. It's Shunter and his Skaven versus Heerward and his Kislev. In the booth with me is Calcium Kaz. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really nice, guys. <laughs> it's a pretty nice team, isn't it? He's got a Rackle Edge 5. He's got an Edge 5 Leap Lodge Step. Is that Catch? Don't. Oh, I'm not sure. Thank yeah. God. I was like, it's don't tell best. me this is Catch. It's Chunter, so who knows? Who knows what he's yeah. taken with this? <laughs> you know? Not the best Skaven team I've ever seen from Chunter, but it's, you know, and he can make a Skaven turd look like a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Like, uh, Lodge Step, Fen, Shuran's Leap. Sackavell, yeah. Rackle Strip, Dauntless, Wrestle Kick, Pom, Claw, Full Claw Pom, which is alright, isn't it? Full Claw Pom. Um, Fifteen players. He's got his he's got his benched leader that he uses for the one turn, which is yeah. weird, but there you go. <laughs> and yeah, the Kislev have got a Tackle Pommer there, very nice. A Bear, Guard. Um, step, bludge firm, bludge step, guard, bludge step. So, of course, his opponent makes four hits, does nothing. Shouldn't have hits back. It's a <laughs> standard, standard. So, this yeah. is going to be tackle pom versus claw pom, isn't it? Um, yeah. Who can bust each other up first, you know? Well, and Chunna has the wizard, so it will yeah. also be all about the wizard. Yeah, yeah. Um, something for the Kislev. I think this isn't bad for this the Kislev. It's a good no, we, well, we said it looked a bit bleak, didn't we, for um, the Kislev, you know, Hairwood. But it's still, a, you know, I, 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 I would... I, then we revised that, didn't we? And we put it around maybe tilting it towards Chanter because Chanter. Yeah. I mean, but also, why make it the one? Why, why make it the one? Entering. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, like Can I the... just say I love this Kislev team name. <laughs> yes. Theodore's third ring. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better in an Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine it is. I'm not doing accents, Jim. I'll leave that to you. Um, so, yeah, I'm notoriously bad at accents. Oh, so am I, but I just don't let it, I don't let it stop me. <laughs> oh, wow. Fireballs straight Holy in. Holy shit. That was a rowdy round, you whiz. Early. Yeah, let's have a look at it. So there was the, there was the bear with Stan Firm, which you're not really moving, are you? Nope. And... Uh, a bludge firm, bludge guard. I mean, he really wanted him down, didn't he? He wanted the front two down, really. This is uh, asking a lot from this wizard, I think. So, um, I feel like I need to drop this. Who are we to say if it's right or wrong? Hmm. I think it was but... ambitious. I don't think the matchup was that bad that it had to be. No, but... I, I don't like it. I, you know, um, my my gut, you know, my my instant feeling towards that wizard is. No, hated it. But yeah, I think it, 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 it. He had to get too lucky with it, and I don't think it was a good spot to bolt because you've got the bear in the way. <clears throat> yeah, and maybe you just come in from the back rather than going in the front of the one D. Like maybe you try and come in the back somehow. And he's um, way too good to rely on something as stupid as an attrition fireball, isn't he? So, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan, but we'll say it's a bold strategy, Cotton, and all that. <laughs> we'll yeah. See how it plays out. And of course, Chunter has left at the end of the turn with his entire team based. <laughs> We've got uh, multiple two DBs. Let's see if anything dies. I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> oh. What is this? Oh my! What? What's he doing? Oh, okay. Guys! Kis <laughs> guys, what's going on here, guys? Oh, wow. 
This is mental. I mean, bold, bold move. Um, some would say completely fucking mental, but there you go. Hey, who are we to say? If I, I can't believe I'm saying this again in two minutes. Who are we to say if it was right or wrong? I think that's definitely wrong. <laughs> I think that's wow. borderline insanity. Um, and yeah, he leaped past old post reroll, and he's also moved the ball from his sure hands against Wrestle Strip. Rackle Strip. Oh, he made a Kaz, though. Yeah, it has the corp claw pommer. Yeah. Jim, wow. you of all people should know, if it works, it's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it works, he is right. You know, I'm... Um, oh God, I hate people with that attitude. Yeah. Well, I must be right, because it worked. Alrighty then. <laughs> um, the wizard seems to have scared him and pushed him, but it should do the other right, Muppet. It should make it. It should make you totally calm and know that you don't have to do anything. Like... Wouldn't it be safer to have these three guys here? Like, I don't understand what... Like, do you know what I mean? Look at the formation. He could have had the three... He could have had these three just here. Oh, like, Chana doing Chana things. Going for the big... Uh, the big dive. He does, and rolls a one in nine. Removes himself. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't like that either. Um, sometimes Chana is too aggressive for his own good, isn't he? He, he really is. Yes. But now at least he can get off the sideline. He doesn't have to be a lunatic anymore. <laughs> I think I think there's probably some more lunacy coming up. Um, I just get that feeling, you know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was worth making that three D. Honestly, he's armor six. Match five rattle. I wouldn't mind him making that a three D. Yeah. Potentially, I depend on what your rest of your plan is. Yeah, pommin pommin armor six. It's just feel good moment and uh, you, you pretty much know you're going to get a result <laughs> yeah 75 percent dodge i mean that's stupidly risky isn't it oh, that's a that's a crazy high risk 75 percent dodge oh my god he's not getting off the sideline why the hell didn't you go back to the middle with all of your guard and strength the hell is wrong with you man especially I'd... where he's he's you know he doesn't have to worry about the wizard anymore he's he's yeah. men up or at least equal men he's removed the claw palm threat yeah um he's removed so three players. you know chunter's happy to base all day so you'd just make him bleed wouldn't you just punch his teeth in yeah but i mean this is just an, and now it's even easier right because it's actually this one's yeah. actually five yeah so this is the one in nine i thought it was a one in nine dodging but it wasn't it was a one in four dodging that he failed Gets the one in nine dodging. Gets the hit. Why are you running the risk of the ball scattering off the field? It's nuts. I think it's nuts that he didn't go back with his team. I thought he'd have yeah. gone back with his team the previous turn, and then he just, yeah. he yeah. just hasn't. Now he can reconnect with his whole team, at least. <laughs> <laughs> surely, surely. He's got the sure hands here. He's got four blitzers. You know, just reconnect with your whole team. I probably should point out, Jim, at this point, I know as much about Kislev as Space knows about ball protection. So, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I, I'm in no way on authority on uh, Kislev's strategy. He didn't get off the sideline! Wow. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Why is he allergic to caging? <laughs> what the f hell, man? I mean, he's got diving tackle. Why don't you just make a cage of diving tackle, guys? Yeah. And guard and... Just have a really safe cage. Well, I think you'll find I have sidestep. Ah, <laughs> Chunder's one in there. Oh my Chunder lord. Went for the greedy one D, because, like, you know, it's it's not that greedy, right? Because he hasn't got a recovery, so... He, yeah, he was yeah, he was trying to make something happen there when he was a bit unlucky. But it's a bit greedy. Still staying on the sideline there. And he does a GFI. <laughs> oh my god. What are we watching? <laughs> oh, <Joseph>. Amazing. <laughs> oh my it's a shame god. the Avo worked, to be fair. Yeah. That was about the most justice you could have in a game of Blood Bowl, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Imagine doing that. <laughs> and he just gives up a 1D. And, and then he gets. <laughs> Rerolls it again. Like it's a 50 50. I think you probably should have done the, the 2D or, or do, dodged somebody for a 2D or something. I don't know. That seems bad to just go for a 1D 50% shot twice, but it worked. 
it worked the second time. I wonder if Chunt will argue that all of this has come from, you know, the turn two, turn three wizard. <laughs> he could do, but I think it's, I think it coming from temporary insanity is a, it's a better <laughs> argument. <laughs> oh my god. He can chain the bear forward here, can't he? And then uh, get the bear on it, that's about all he's got. I, I don't understand his obsession with the sideline. Why did he think that was good when he had all of these blitzers? Like, blitzers literally have diving tackle. Like, they're the best things to cage against. Like, okay, he's got leap. But, like, he hasn't got wrestle on those, right? So that the sackers have got wrestle. So it's, like, the literal best thing to cage with. Yeah. And it, and it, even if he does get a 1D wrestle, you're wrestling into multiple tackle zones. Mm -hmm. So the likelihood of the Skaven recovering from that is much less. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hey, I got sidestep. <laughs> Watch me fly down the sideline. <laughs> yeah, he blocked with a bear. Yeah, I don't. I don't like blocking with a bear. I would have tried to free the bear. It's also got break tackle, right? So even if you just pushed it and didn't power, you could have still used him to get over there. But I mean, I mean, he's got stun firm and, di and diamond t tackle, so he's basically basically better anyway. And there is the diamond tackle. Yeah. But he, he, oh, and no. then he double wants the, so Oh he, no! He made the that diamond is brutal. Tackle. Double that is pickle. brutal. Wow. Wow. And he gets jumped up blocked. <laughs> this is madness. Chunter the Dice Lord decides to roll snakes. Mm. It's never happened before. Ever. Never ever. <laughs> It's the first time for everything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? You've got to move this guy down, haven't you? Haven't you just got to punch this guy and then, like, move this guy actually down to... Sc oh, it's turn eight. Okay, no, he can't score. Never mind. It's turn eight. It's like, can you to move this guy down so you can score next turn? But no, it's turn eight. All right, fair enough. Truly notorious. Uh, the Benny Hill theme would be an Ooh, apt tune right now, but it's not very PC. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it's not PC. You've got to be PC nowadays, haven't you? Yeah. Very important. Dub it was fun in its day. Chaos. It was fun in its day. Look, I'll tell you what, these dice, honestly. <laughs> it's mental, isn't it? Both sides. It's just absolutely yeah. easy, but I think the more suspect player was definitely on the Kislo. Boy, howdy. Well, they had Chanta by the balls, didn't they? Yeah. He, he literally, all he needed to do was protect the friggin' ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just had to stay where he was. He was in a cage. He was literally in a cage and then made a sideline one for some reason. I don't yeah. understand. And then he refused to go back in cage. <laughs> he just refused point blank <laughs> to go back into a cage. I've never seen it, anything like it before. It was... That was bizarre. I mean, maybe his ass fell out because it was his first time in Chalice. Like, that's the only thing that kind of makes sense, isn't it? You know, maybe he's scared of Chunter and, and thought, this guy is really nice. <laughs> Panic. Maybe he literally panicked after the fireball. It's weird, though, isn't it? He's only got yeah, nine Panicking players, after the fireball. Panic all the time that your opponent is a good player and he has a wizard in pocket because it's insane. But yeah. afterwards, you know, after it's fired and it's fizzled, you're like, okay, here we go. Yeah, just bang everyone down, keep the ball safe. It's all he had to do. Yeah. I mean, Chunter's going to line them up for you to bang down. <laughs> so all you've got to do is just keep banging them down and then keep the ball safe. And it's, it's pretty routine to beat him, to be honest. I love Chanter's playstyle, but even me, sometimes it's like, oh, easy there, mate, easy. <laughs> easy, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> calm, calm down, mate, calm down. <laughs> well, he's got 11. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Hammers, yeah. <laughs> it's, it should be an easy Dakar, yes. It looks like, however, that Chanter has gone for... The fabled twat magnet. Uh, he's taken the twat magnet bait. Um, and has decided to lure all of his players in, not blocking correctly with guard. And he's wasted his guard and he is... Yeah, that's... um. 
Oh, he's one in that. He's block, blockless blitz to try and engineer a 1DB, which, yep, that's what he succeeded in. You absolutely know this 1D is going to work, don't you? You oh, know it's going to work and result in a removal. Yeah. Probably. This was terrible by Chudner. Wow, if he'd dackered, he would have just won this 1 nil easily. <laughs> oh, wow. Deserved death there. Lucky. Got away with it. Yeah, that was... Yeah, you know, you, you set up your guard, so you push your guard into an assist position, don't you? Yes, you know, yeah. You, you know, yeah, you still yeah, have to this, dodge this a one in nine. But punching, yeah. yeah, even I know that, Jim. Holy yeah. shit. If that's if you're going to take the hit at all, which... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why would you... Yeah, do you know what? I can't resist a good twat magnet myself, you know? <laughs> when a yeah. big guy's dangling his balls out there, you know... <laughs> So he, someone's getting a slap. But... Yeah, and he's got claw pom as well, hasn't he? Like he's got claw pom. Yeah, yeah. And he's already got a man advantage, so it makes sense. And like you know, you, you think you're going to win this game, right? So you might as well take out yeah. the mighty blow guy that can actually hurt you, pretty much. Uh, yes, Lord, I am sticking around for claw afterwards. Glory. The call came in to the dojo. I was busy <laughs> setting up some body bags for my under 14s class, um, <laughs> but so yeah, uh, the call came in, and I'm on the show. Family friendly. <laughs> Flip me, guys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is going to be amazing. <laughs> now he can hit him on two dice. Is he going to blitz the bear this time? He's got two dice now. Yep, yep, he is straight in. Fully, fully twat magnet engaged. Gets the pow. Gets the chain. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he's got a stamp for Insta pile on, that's what we like Insta to see. Pile on. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's I mean that's why he was committed to the trap magnet. Yeah. He was always yeah. gonna pile on. So many people this season, Jim, embracing the bash. Um everybody thinks they can do bash, but it's less of a oh I think I'll play bash this season, it's more of a calling. <laughs> Only a few people possess it. Unfortunately it appears that you may have lost that ability, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Once, once the alpha bash, you know, um, in fumble, but it'll come back, Jim. It'll come back. I hope so. As soon as you stop, stop screwing around with stupid dackers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh my God! Instant, instant double skulls. Maybe should have done some safe moves first, but didn't bother. Oh my god, then just does that. Imagine just not making some safe moves. He hasn't got the memo about not GFIing, has he, this lad? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't watched enough of me and you, Jim, that's what it is. <laughs> he sure hasn't. <laughs> Maybe he's a purple chest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't, to be fair? Who isn't? <laughs> Hello, Trent. G Cheeky little free die manufactured there. Uh, oh, mispathed. Oh, so maybe it's just a mistake then. Yeah, fair enough. That's quite reasonable. That's quite reasonable. It was just a, it was just a genuine mistake, isn't it? Flicky on the ball. We just want to laugh at people. <laughs> In for the foul. Oh, Jim foul. Yeah. Sent off Jim foul. To know when you're more or less even players and your bench is less than 11 um can i just go out there and on record and say that i didn't like that foul either <laughs> no yeah, i don't know why i didn't i don't know why i didn't pile uh, misclick well let's give him the benefit of the doubt misclick <laughs> nothing more heinous in blood bowl gym than a pilot and a claw pommer that doesn't pile on <laughs> exactly will we see some safe moves now I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, following up into the tackle pommer. Giving his life for the cause, probably. Oop, yeah, and, uh, and, and releasing another Skaven while he's at it. Thank you very much for releasing that Skaven from the big guy. Yep. Both the, he takes the board down. So gets the armor six. See if see if Trent will board down on no all balls. <laughs> and he doesn't. I still think pushing him is probably better, but never mind. Chain to right off the bear. Yeah, that seems. 
Oh great, now he piles. For no effect. See, Chunter was smart, he knew nothing was gonna nothing good was gonna happen. <laughs> Is he just going to dodge away from this guy? So one in thirty-six so. to just lose. Yeah. He does. Yeah. <clears throat> I know what'd happen if I did that. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Especially today. Holy yeah. cow! Your dice have been rats. <laughs> oh, he just just dodged away. He does just dodge away. What I thought was, you know, if you're going to tag the claw pommer, like the claw tackle pommer with that guy, then don't you push this guy up to like generate pressure? Because one guy yeah. by himself can't do it, can he? But two of them can. So I thought that was a like that was a misplay gone for that. I think yeah, if that catcher was centralised right now, um, sort of around the LOS even, yeah. it would be game on, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's got the bear. It's gonna base the ball with a bear. What's that? One, two GFIs with the bear. One if he gets the power. And a break tackle, double gear five. He doesn't. Yeah, he's totally doing it. You're up there. Go on, bear. Only the push. So I mean, this is I'll probably give up on it now. But he goes for it. Oops. <laughs> Don't see that every day. The bear GFI <laughs> fail animation. You idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> oh man. Good job, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a that's a great name for his. It is a good uh, name, yeah. And now it's just a three D. Three D. To clear him away. GFIs are free movement, except when you fail, indeed. Yeah. Can I just uh, throw out there that the kids left positioning? You know, I've seen worse positioning. I. I can't remember when. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean, Cassie. Um, well, let's just say it's interesting then, okay? Yeah, I think I think he's given up a little bit. I mean, he's done a lot of players, yeah. right? He's done a yeah. lot of players, to be fair. On defense, it's been hard. Okay, he's not blitzing him. Oh my god, shouldn't he be <clears throat> lunatic? What the hell? Chanter does not fear the one in nights. Imagine that. I'd do everything I could to stop a 1 in 36 chance. Oh, wow. Oh. He's not going to roll the 1 in 36, though. No, he gets it. Wow. God, this is mad, isn't it? Nade does a pass. Okay. <laughs> I guess um, the, he was just. Because he's just exposed to this guy, isn't he? Like, this one could jump up and free him. I don't know, with sidestep, Jim, I may have kept ball in hand there because you're sidestepping into two Skaven. Mm, I don't know. I think probably there's probably something else that should have happened. Oh, he just rolled a 1D. Um, that was really unlucky, wasn't it? Because if he just made this jump up, he punches him and then he's got then he's got 2D yeah. ball with tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, this 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 thrower should have done something other than like you know should have tried to deal with this guy I think because <laughs> this guy's a bit of a problem. Well, it's all come up gravy for Chanta. Um, yeah, barring some form of miracle, now it looks happy days. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge turn those two. Yeah, things going wrong. Oh, the Dublé skulls. Oh, why? You've got to make irrelevant blocks before irrelevant blockless blocks before securing oh the ball. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this season is really doing weird things to people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. Fouling the guard. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Didn't 
do anything. He's not in range with this guy, is he? I don't think. No. You can 1D with this guy. Yeah, Lodge, you may have a point, you know. Chunter may have had a really good afternoon on the Devil's Lettuce. We don't know, do we? <laughs> 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 He could have done, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. I guess it's so crap that it's not even worth trying. But then, if you don't try, you're going to lose. Yeah, well, GG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easy, easy cage, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Still, it was fun while it lasted, was it not? Yeah, yeah, nice fun game. <laughs> you know, if everybody fly. played. <laughs> Trying to have something to drink. <laughs> I can't even dream of playing like this. <laughs> uh, Flicky Flack's in a bad place right now, isn't it? Um, we should all, you know, say a prayer, thoughts and prayers for Flicky Flack and his dice. Yep. Which are quite possibly the worst dice I've ever seen in the history of Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 there's there's really bad dice and then there's flicky dice and there's like the seventh level of blood bowl hell for flicky it he really needs his is. own emote doesn't he like the opposite he, of rick yeah. dice flicky dice yeah Right, so turn 15, all he's got to do is leap in, double uphill pow, at Kazim, and then hope the ball goes, uh, hope, so, hope Chunt is sidestepped to the wrong square. Oh, no, no, follow, and then hope it bounces back onto your guy, then into yeah. the crowd. It's Easy, totally going to happen, guys. Easy. There's the leap, here we go. Doesn't get the double pows, re-rolls it, because it's his last chance, there's no way he can possibly win if he doesn't double pow there. He doesn't get the double power, so the game is over. Well, it's not over. G Chunter G could quad skull, couldn't he? Yeah, he's got quad skulls. Can he make uh, it three? He, just he can make it three dice, three. two three. Yeah, he can make, make it three, three dice. So he yeah. can hexa skull. Hexa skull is the only way he doesn't score here. Oh, he only makes it two dice. Okay. Well, at least he's scored. Oh, he could have also sidestepped in. He could have, but he wanted to get the three would dice. Be if... Wait a minute, he's just moved the ball carrier to assist the serve. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Well, that's a beautiful 3D setup there, Chana. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, what have we just witnessed? We have witnessed. <laughs> so you won't see this anywhere else, guys, except Daedal Quest. <laughs> I say, unless, unless you're Daedal, Daedal's there going, hold my pint. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. Former Chalice winner <laughs> Does, doesn't bother scoring. This game, eh? This game. <laughs> yeah, he's gone for the he's gone for the chunter strategy. He doesn't want to take the LOS hits. <laughs> the chunter, the space cadet. Did I say chunter? He's gone for the space cadet strat. Doesn't doesn't want him to. Uh, doesn't want to take the LOS hits. Brilliant. I think this is the ultimate toxic showboating, if you ask me, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> chunter's just twisting the knife right now, isn't he? Taking <laughs> yeah. it to overtime. Yeah. Yeah, I think he wrote in chat. You gotta see this. <laughs> you won't see. You won't see this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> I sound like fucking really bad Sean Connery when I do it. Yeah. I'm never doing an accent again in my life. That's it. Done. That's 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 how you've got the sound, uh, Kelsey. Yes, Mish I'm, I'm 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 just not. I'm just not. I'm just not doing it. Oh wow! And so, so here Ward has uh, won the won the toss, but he's out of rerolls, of course, because he thought he had to uphill double pow to, to stop the score. Little did he know what Chunter had in his box of tricks. Uh, <laughs> 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 
the great thing about really, really ballsing up like that is it lives forever in the form of memes, doesn't it? It's just so good for the rest of the community. We'll dine off a of bat forever, you know? And there will come a time when Chunter smiles about it as well, but let's see if he smiles about it right now because he's lost the toss. Um, it's every possibility that Harewood's Kislev do an LOS clearance sale here. Yeah. Yeah, he's still obviously brutally outnumbered, being massively outbashed by, by the Armour 7 team. I mean, as you expect, of course. <laughs> Armour 7 is a light gym. Yeah, of course. Every, every flip and time, the Armour 7 team brutally outbashes you. Oh, dear. Uh, 9-0-2, sadly, Stradik here. There was, a, there was a rather unfortunate loss. Following this match, Jack Bull... <clears throat> P Diddy that does help him a lot doesn't it because he'd gone a very uh, very you know all in with so few players that that's to be honest this is what I hate the most about perfect defense and blitz people love to say oh it's unfair to have you know to let the offense go and molested it's good to give him a chance and stuff and like that's that's fair to a point but the problem is it really fucks you when you're in positions like this when you've already been shot on by the dice you're already in a really bad position and it just crushes yeah. you right and if you're in yeah. a good position you sit up to counter the blitz or the perfect defense and you're fine and it doesn't harm you but it's like this where it just absolutely punches you and i, I do hate that about blitz and perfect defense well, they have addressed it to a point in the 2020 edition, haven't they? Um, although yeah. I think they could have gone further. I think just the straight D3 would have been fine yeah. for a blitz in PD. But um, I, they, it's D3 plus 3, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, there we go. There's a KO. That'll make uh, Harewood's Kislev feel a little bit better. But how does he protect the ball here, you know? Oh, that's right. He's got to form a cage, Jim. You know, that thing that he refused to form the entire first half. I let's just pass the ball in the wide open space, you know, where Gorillas can exploit it. Oh, my God. Why didn't he just pick it up and run forward into a cage? Jesus. <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? Now, we don't know Harewood, you know. Um, to make the chalice, you assume that he can play Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like his record was good. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I just think potatoing was better, right? Just pick it up, hand off to him, and then potato down the field was probably better than throwing. I don't know what his plan was after throwing. I think pretty much anything was better than that, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. just terrible. So you can play blood ball or be awake at certain times. <laughs> <laughs> and, and avoid Nick. <laughs> that's, that's also critical that you avoid Nick. <laughs> so he's got no real, so he needs a power or a both down on this hit. Really? Because the other one would have to get and move up the field, which he could have done. Yeah. With some dice, but he has failed to find... Um, a power or a bolt down in four dice. So he is. There is a possibility that he may use that gutter runner to assist a free die block. Still, <laughs> there is that possibility. Yes, good point, calcium. <laughs> good point. Now, what 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 Herwood should do here is he should definitely just move this lineman to the sideline and hope hope that Chunter just moves in for the assist instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Equity falling by oh, not putting him on the no. sideline. Yeah, how about let, let's base an irrelevant Skaven Lino right now, you know? <laughs> I'm, Jesus, uh, he wasn't going to stop him anyway, was he? But... No, he wasn't. <clears throat> no, I guess you just dodge. Like, maybe there's something you can do with, like, blitzing this wrestle. I, I, there's not a lot of time. The, the sad thing is in the replays, there's not a lot of time to look and see if there's, like, no, it would be a GFI. <clears throat> He just gets the other gutters in. Quads do not exist in Chanter's dojo. <laughs> no. This is one in thirty six. This is this is failable. Yeah. This is failable, guys. 
He's not actually going to hand off, is he? No, no, surely not. No, he's just put that there to recover a loose ball if it does go pear-shaped. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he blitzed and then followed and piled on. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. Well, that was a game. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? That was something. Oh, I guess on a push he was going to go, go back, but because he got the power he piled on. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a match. <laughs> what a match. Um, there you go. That that was a game, wasn't it? The kids have made more was... AV breaks. Yeah. But they it was entertaining, Jim. It was entertaining. It was very entertaining, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely game. brilliant. Chunter marches on to the second round. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. He had balls, took his kids out to Chalice, and his team was pretty decent. Like, it wasn't the best, but it was pretty decent. He could have done something. And it, I feel like maybe maybe the nerves got to him a bit, but like, because especially after the Wizard, right? Especially after the Wizard gone, he should have tightened up and locked that game down a little bit. But, um, <clears> you know, yeah, at least he made Chalice, and, you know, hopefully he'll make it again, and good for him. Um, congrats, Chunter, commiserations. Harewood, Harewood, I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you very much, Calcium, for joining us in the booth. Absolutely glorious to have you here, as always. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.